Zeppelin Games Limited presents You Are Santa Claus in Santa's Christmas Capers. It's kind of funny that they actually put the name of the game in lower cases than... Yeah. Interesting, uh, interesting choice. Because this is Santa's Xmas Capers. Or Caper, actually, not Capers. Just Caper. They didn't even get their name right. Santa's Christmas Capers, copyright 1990. Zeppelin Games. Oh, what other Zeppelin games I've played? Quite a bit of already, I think. Can't never remember what uh, company has made what game. The story. The Nordic Greenland Bixies spiked all Santa's Christmas puddings with wine, and now after ten helpings, he feels unable to deliver the presents. However, before Santa passed out, he did manage to debrief you on which boys and girls deserve Christmas presents this year. You have been given the job of delivering the packages. You must fly through the air on your sleigh over Greenland, over the icy sea, until reaching England. Once there, you can deliver your sacks of pressies. However, the Pixies have decided to try to stop you on your rounds. You, they will try to know the tricks uh, to bring you to grief for many of them. Only you can be sure that the Christmas day will be fun and happy for the children. The task is yours! Now that I think about it, if, I, if this is the one where you fly on the... Um, fly on the... sleigh, then I have not played this game last year. That was a totally different game. Yeah, it wasn't Santa's Christmas Capers at all. Okay, so this is a different game than I'm playing then. Let's go flying. You are Santa Claus. Get ready. Okay. Okay. Everything that is here that you can touch kills you, apparently. Now, of course, of all the Christmas games that I decide to try out right away, I choose a freaking shooter. Everybody knows my history of uh, shooters. So I think I'm... Sh what I'm using as ammo are... Wraith? Wraith... Wraith... Uh, uh, the uh, popping candy that they use in England, you know, you pull it and it, uh, there's like uh, some. Not really sure what is in it, but it pops and flashes. It's a bit of an explosion. I wonder what then. Actually, that is one of those the English uh, Christmas treats. That big blob. I can't remember the name of it. It ain't no spotted dick. Some kind of Christmas pudding. And I'm just fighting against all kinds of presents. Apparently, uh, there's the pixies killing me. Well, this game certainly is not easy. I can tell you that. Game over. I got it. Ugh. <sighs> All the Christmas presents you made are attacking you. Apparently the Pixies are more powerful than we thought. They're using the gifts against us. And other things. Candy canes. Toys and candy canes. Yeah, that's what they're using. And Christmas decorations. That's what they're using against us. What's one for the music, though? Yeah. Mm. Popping hummus? Uh, maybe it is popping hummus. You never know. <laughs> Christmas crackers. Sacks of Pressies. That sounds so wrong when you say it like that. Deliver your sacks of Pressies to the children. Only you can prevent forest fi fires or ensure Christmas Day will be fun and happy. I'm just reading what the text down below is saying. Something about kickboxing champions of the world. I guess they're 
shamelessly advertising uh, on the lower uh, scrolling text about their other games. Oh yeah, Christmas crackers. But they don't look like Christmas crackers. They actually, now that I think about it, they actually look like... Uh, see, because there is like a, an antenna on top of it, maybe they, they, they are the um, candy apple. You know. Although usually they put candy apples on sticks so they're like lollipops. But they kind of look like... Uh... Hmm. I'm not really sure. That's the only one I can think of. But isn't there like also an, a muffin type of one that isn't kind of round that it has a topping on it that it's supposed to look like a Christmas ornament? You can actually use it as a Christmas ornament, but then you eat it? Could be wrong. No, there are. They actually do make chocolate and stuff as Christmas ornaments. So people like people can hang them onto the tree on the on Christmas Eve and then eat them on Christmas Day. Don't know why you want to do that. Don't make edible ornaments. They just don't make sense. Some people might put them there a month before and it might start to smell a bit run after a while. I start away. Oh yeah, I should be playing a game here. You were disappointed that Christmas crackers don't actually have actual candy inside. Yeah, it's just a popper. Oh yeah, you were talking about Christmas crackers. Yeah, those are the uh, popper things, not the food that I was thinking about. Sorry, Jay, Jay, just me being dumb here. Popcorn balls or gingerbread? I think there might be gingerbread. Learn about them for... Learn about them for the first time from that Mr. Bean Christmas episode. I should watch that Christmas ep episode this Christmas. It's a freaking fantastic Mr. Bean episode. That Christmas episode. I think it's my favorite of all of them. Of all the Mr. Bean episodes. Huh, yeah. The Christmas episode is the best one. But anyway, back to the game. Let's try this again. Hopefully I can do a lot better this time. Now that I know that everything on the screen is deadly. The Christmas ornaments are actual bullets. Oh no, they're using drums. Good thing there's auto fire at least. I wonder which of the reindeers is guiding me here, helping me out on this quest to save Christmas. Okay, now that I'm not panicking at all or anything, I'm actually handling things a lot better. Ah! Okay, that house kills me. Great. I'm just gonna keep on dying. I suppose that's supposed. I I suppose it's supposed to be. Suppose, suppose. That it's, uh, Rudolph that's guiding me here. And I also heard the sound or something. Then I'm sure that signaled that I got a one-up. Oh no. Something hideous. That's supposed to be the boss. 
Stop throwing my freaking presents away! I'm supposed to give those to children. You have completed the level, you move along to the next turn. Yay? Okay. Oh, no, model trains. Really? The freaking icicles are enemies that shoot? They really put everything out on this one. God damn it. How are you supposed to get through all of this when everything you touch kills you? They made a silver surfer on the Commodore 64 and it's called Santa's Christmas Capers. Uh. A freaking silver surfer type game. Great. In other words, impossible. At least I got through the first level. Gotta give me that. How about we turn some cheats on? Is it worth it? What do you guys think? Would it be worth it? Just to see how this game goes. Put on invincibility. Maybe that'll help. Unlimited lies and invincibility. Because I don't know if... Uh, if the invisibility works against the uh, background. All the houses and icicles and such. You love the flying cook the turkeys flapping their wings. Gotta put everything Christmassy there. Although here we don't... In Finland we don't eat turkey in Christmas. We have ham. O4 Max Santa. Oh yeah, there was that uh, gigantic Santa mode or something. Where were the other buttons? I think Unlimited Lies was uh, one and Invisibility was three. Not sure if they work on this screen, but let's see. Let's see if I can put turn them on. Okay, I lost a life there. Okay, it worked. I have invisibility, invincibility on. Good. Oh yeah, and also let's uh, turn on Max Santa with oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it just blows up the the uh, sprite. That's all. Okay. That's all it does. Yep. I pressed O again to see if he gets bigger. Nah. That's as big as he gets. Sees my projectiles got large as well. Leon's getting larger. Me, John, big tree. Makes the game so much more playable now that I can actually fly through everything. Although I could fly through those. So the one of the games that doesn't tell you what is background and what is not. Like this house here. It's not background. You will die if you touch it. I wonder if I get points if I just ram into them. Nope. Or... I do. So I don't even need to shoot. I just fly around like this. They hit me, they die, I get the points. Yay. Homing in presents, the bastards.
Let me skip! Okay, no skipping then. It's really easy to tell where you can fly or not uh, fly. Very easy to tell. <laughs> yeah, there's the Christmas turkeys flapping their wings. Oh no, snowman, how dare you. Toy police cars, they have come to arrest the Santa for destroying <laughs> Christmas. No, no, not even you, Rubber Ducky. How dare you. I am Santa. I am here to bring joy to the world. Joy to the world and uh, everything else. I'm really glad that they actually programmed those enemies that are on the uh, lower or upper parts of the screen to shoot up or down. So that their projectiles go absolutely nowhere. Great programming there, guys. Zeppelins, of course, because it's a Zeppelin game. They have to have Zeppelins in their game. Dreadle, 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 you're made up out of plastic. Because you're not really a dreadle. Oh no, toy ducks! Joy to the world and glory to our stots column. Still bringing that up, huh? <laughs> Papers, please. And I haven't played Papers, Please in an age. No, oh, no, conjoined the snowman. Just take it. Take it! Jingle bells, jingle bells. Bills, Batman smells Robin laid an egg. Jingle bells, Batman smells Robin laid an egg. Oh, what fun it is to ride on one horse open sleigh. <laughs> I'm just having fun listening to the music. Die, snowman! Die, uh, gingerbread man! Die, Zeppelin! Be destroyed, Dreadle! Screw you, turkeys! Police car! Balloon! You will all be perished! Destroyed! Robin laid an egg, Batmobile lost a will, and Choker got away. <laughs> Christmas trees with an angel. Clever. Be destroyed! Vanquished! Ooh. 
I need to do another play of that game that was so much fun. Papers, please? Eh, eh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. At some point. You never know. It is a fun game, though. So maybe I'll do a play of it at some point. It's been a long time since I played it, so I might be a little rusty in the game, though. But nobody minds, I'm sure. Should be fun to live stream that game, actually. I did do... Out of the le Let's Play, I think I had two episodes that I live streamed, actually. The rest were just Let's Play videos. So it could be fun to do a full playthrough of it in live stream. Go for the happy ending. You're calling Gingerbread Boss for this level. Hmm. It could be. Another thing that I could think of that could be the next enemy or next boss here. Actually, I don't know. Gingerbread Man actually sounds the most uh, applicable. And also, is this the first level repeated again? It feels like this is just the first level repeated. This game only has four levels, huh? We already had a, um, Snowman as a, a boss. That was the second level. And yeah, this is uh, this is definitely just the first level. Again. It's just, uh, I got a feeling this is gonna be just repeating itself, so we're gonna get the angels again. Or the two Christmas. Yeah, mm, yep. Yep, 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 It just repeats itself. It's looping. It's definitely looping. Next gonna be the second level again. Yep. There's no end to this nightmare. It'll just keep on going until you run out of lives. I think I have it. Yeah, I'm now huge. How will I survive this? I shall do my best to try and survive. At least I have still nine, eight lives left. Suddenly I have become songs again. That's what happens when I edit the video of Undertale today. Ow. <laughs> now please, don't call me Shirley. They're playing on all instruments. Now there's a bit more challenge to the game when I actually turned off unlimited lives and invisibility off. I'm actually playing the game for reals. In giant mode, of course. Gonna have some difficulty in the game. Although it's already difficult enough. 76,300 points! Woo! Game over! Even the game over is huge. So am I supposed to write down the high score? Because the game doesn't keep it itself! Well that was a waste of time! There's no high score list or not even a high score set. What is this game for? Frustration? It works! <laughs> That's why I say this. 